Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Julien Apruzes from France and today I would like to share with you some tips about post-production inside Capture One Pro. First, I would like to show you the importance of understanding the theory of post-production. For 80%, post-producing an image is finding the color harmony. In this example, this image represents a photograph of a red flower on green grass without textures and volumes. So we get only the information of color patches. The question is now how to post-produce this image which represents 80% of the strength of our photograph. We have here two color patches. We need to find the best harmony which means which red for this green and which green for this red. We know that color can be represented by hue, saturation and lightness. So we are going to use the color editor tool in its advanced mode to modify these values. I choose the Pick Color Correction Cursor tool. I select these two colors and I will play with U, Saturation and Lightness sliders from each color back and forth. We thus find a good harmony. And if I show you the before, you may understand important principles about post-production. Does the before look like a flat row image? Isn't it? And does the after look like a nice magazine cover? This is why the full color editor tool available in Capture One Pro version is one of the most loved tool. And I'm going to show you more with its skin tone mod. In this image, I wanted to decrease the number of color patches and have only one unique blue color in order to simplify the lecture. So in skin tone mode, I selected from green to blue hues and under uniformity decreased the variations of hue, saturation and lightness by 100%. The color editor tool is in fact compressing all hues and saturations value selected to the value of this point that I can move around. Then we understand that we must not stop to the ambiguous name skin tone and do use this uniformity tool every time we need to decrease the variation of any color patches. We are going to continue to study the color editor tool, but now with the help of one of the most useful tools, the layers, only available inside Capture One Pro version. Here is a raw image from a Fujifilm campaign. The most important part of this post-production was to find a better harmony with the red dress patch. But there are other red patches like the smoke and the lips. So we needed to select the red hues and create a mask including only the dress. So I created a layer named dress with this plus icon and I first selected all red hues as you can see, if I toggle on the view selected color range mode with the shortcut M, I was able to draw a mask including the dress with the brush, shortcut B. And I modify the hue, saturation and lightness values to finish the post-production. Here is a before and after. In this image from a McDonald's campaign, I would like to show you a more complete use of this combination between color editor and layers tools for post-production. The final image is built on the same principle of finding the best harmony between all these color patches by working on hues, saturations and lightness. In Capture One Pro, we are able to create masks from different informations. We can obviously draw a mask, but we can create a mask from use and saturations values with the color editor tool and one from lightness values 
with the Luma Range tool. To get a mask based on lightness values, I create a new fill layer by holding this plus icon. And I open the Luma Range tool. I toggle on the display mask mode and I adjust these sliders to select only the highlights I want. To see my mask in grayscale visualization, I add the shortcut Option M. Now I can add some points of exposure on this highlight selected to get more contrast. Because the Luma Range tool is dynamic, I can mix it with some drone mask and maybe exclude the left hand highlights using the Erase Mask Cursor tool with the shortcut E. I show the mask with the shortcut M. I adjust the Erase Mask options by holding Ctrl and clicking on the image. and start to mask out the end. To get a mask based on use and saturation values, I select them first in the Color Editor tool. and choose the option Create Masked Layer from Selection here in the Tool menu. After a few seconds, Capture One Pro will create the layer. As in our previous example, we can now refine this mask in order to keep only the dress with the shortcut E to call the Erase Mask Cursor tool and with the shortcut Option M to see the mask in grayscale. To finish, I would like to show you that sometimes I use Capture One Pro two times. On the left image, we can see the first pass of work in Capture One Pro. Then I exported this image to Photoshop for more work with the option Edit With that you can find by right click on the browser. The right image is the TIFF result and I added on it a new color editor tool in skin tone mode to decrease hue, saturation and lightness contrast of the red dress. I hope these two videos will help you to understand the differences between the Express and Pro version of Capture One and invite you to discover the magic of image post-production. See you soon.